So hello guys and welcome to Codeflix. Today we are gonna see what Node.js is, how to install Node.js, and then we'll write a first hello world program in Node.js. So basically, Node.js is a server-side platform. It is an open source language and it is built on Google Chrome's JavaScript engine, which is the V8 engine. So Node.js is preferably used by many developers and large companies. Some examples are Microsoft, eBay, PayPal. So there are many features of Node.js. First of all, Node.js is asynchronous and event driven. So what do you mean by asynchronous? So all the APIs that Node.js libraries call are asynchronous and that it is non-blocking. So once Node.js libraries call an API, then the API does not wait for the return or the result to return and then it directly moves to the next API. So the time between that is saved. Also, Node.js is very fast because as it is built on the Google Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine, Node.js libraries is very fast in code execution. Also, Node.js is single threaded and so it can be used in making highly scalable programs. Also, it is open source so anybody can use it to develop anything. So now we'll see how to install Node.js in our laptops. <laughs> So to install Node.js, we'll go to nodejs.org, which is the official website of Node.js. So as you scroll down, you'll see two versions of that. I'm using Windows, so I'll uh, show you about Windows. But for the Mac, also the process is the same. So there are two versions: 8.12.0 and 10.10.0, which is the current with latest features. But 8.12.0, which is the LTS. LTS stands for latest support. So which is recommended by most users. So what is the difference between them? So 8.12.0, which is the LTS version, it is the stable version, which is used by many users. But the 10.10.0, which is currently released, is very unstable version, or you can say that you cannot use it for much things, but it is the current version. So you can use either of the versions. In both the versions, Node.js will be working fine, but there can be some bugs or there which is in the development purpose in the 10.10.0 version. So I am using the 8.12.0 version. So you can just click on the button here, and you can save it anywhere so that download starts. So once the setup is downloaded, just double click on that, and you will see a dialog box or a window. So here you can see a window. So you you have to just click next, 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 and then it will get installed in your laptops. I have already installed it, so I don't need to install it. But you have to just click on next, 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 and it will in get installed in your laptops. So we will write our hello world program. So from now on, for Node.js, we'll always work in the command line. So if you want to see what version of Node has been installed, you can write Node, then V. So as you can see, I have installed the 8.12.0 version. So here you will reflect the version. So for every purpose, we will use the command line. So for, I have made a folder called Node.js on desktop, and in that folder, I have made a file named app.js file. The extension of the file is js. So We'll first navigate to the Node.js folder, and for that, I'll write cd space desktop. First, I'll navigate to the desktop, and then again write cd space the name of the folder which is Node.js. So as you can see, I have navigated to the Node.js folder. If you want to go back, then you can write cd dot dot. So as you can see, we have navigated back to the desktop, but I have to navigate to the Node.js folder. So I'll navigate to the Node.js folder. Then the app.js file, which is in the Node.js folder, I'll open that. So to print the hello world, I'll write console dot logs. Then put a separate colon. And in quotes, I'll write hello world. So what this console dot log will do? It will Give us the log messages in the command line. So the hello world will be printed in the command line. 
so we will run this for file so we will write node space the file of the name which is app dot js you can ignore the dot js and just write app it will the program will run just fine so as you can see the hello world is printed